Hello all, welcome to another video from Psycheple official YouTube channel. In this video, we can learn about how to find out full width half maximum of any peak. Here I am taking an example of XRD data. Also, we can learn how to calculate the crystalline size from XRD data using this full width half maximum values. First, we can check how to find out the full width half maximum of any graph. First, open the XRD data file in origin. Select the data and click plot. Here is the XRD curve. In this curve, main peak is around 26 angle. Zoom in the selected peak. You can zoom up to the level you want. Then select the graph and click analysis. In analysis fitting, under fitting nonlinear curve fit and then open dialog. This new window will open. Here in the function selection section, Category is origin basic functions. Under this, lots of functions are available. You can select the Gaussian function Gauss. It will automatically fit the curve. Or if you want, you can select the area you want to fit. For example, under the section data selection, input data, reselect from data, it will direct you to the curve. You can choose the range and press the enter key. Then you can click this one iteration symbol and check the graph if everything is okay you can click this multiple iteration or fit until converged symbol now fit converged click ok here comes the result xc is the Bragg's angle or 2 theta value fwhm is the full width at half maximum values now we learned how to find out full width half maximum of any curve especially the XRD curve. What is the use of it? By using the full width half maximum of XRD curve, we can find out the crystalline size of sub micrometer nanoparticles. We can have a look on that calculations. Before going into the calculations, I would briefly explain it. How to calculate crystalline size using XRD data in origin. For calculating crystalline size from XRD data, we can use Debye-Scherer equation. The Debye-Scherer equation is given as D is equal to K lambda divided by beta cos theta where D is the crystalline size of a particle in nanometer. K represents the Sch Scherer constant or the shape factor. Its value lies in between 0 0.62 to 2.08. Normally it is taken as 0 0.9. Lambda is the wavelength of X-ray source and is given in angstrom unit, for example 1.54 angstrom. Beta denotes the full width at half maximum in radian and theta is the Bragg's angle also in radian. Next, we can check how can we calculate the crystalline size of a material using this equation. Finding crystalline size, we need to find out the full width, half maximum and peak position of all the peaks in the XRD curve. Here in this XRD curve, three different peaks are there. We already learned how to find out the full width half maximum of single peak. You can use that also here. But now I am showing a simple way to find out the full width half maximum of all XRD peaks simultaneously. Select the curve. Go to the analysis. In analysis, go to peaks and baseline. Choose multiple peak fit and click open dialog. This window will appear. In the peak function, loads of options are there. Remember to choose Gaussian function that is Gauss. Click OK. This window will open. Now we can select all the peaks we want. Double click on the peak then it will automatically pick all these peaks for analysis. After selecting all the peaks click this open NL fit. This window will open. Here you can choose one iteration and check the curve. If all OK you can do fit until converged. Now fit converged. Click OK. And again click OK if you want to switch to the report sheet. This is the report sheet. It shows three peaks analysis information. That is peak 1, peak 2 and peak 3. XC is the peak position. That is the two theta values. And the FWHM is the full width at half maximum of all the peaks. You can click the XC values of peak 1 and copy the value and paste it on an Excel file. Similarly copy all the three peaks XC value and paste on the Excel file. Also copy all the three peaks full width half maximum values to the same excel sheet. If you have several peaks, this method will be tiring. We have another simple way to copy the results. Go down to the report sheet, 
in this section summary you can see the values of xc of all the peaks and fwmo copy all the values and paste in the excel file under the name peak position similarly copy all the peaks full width half maximum values and paste in the same excel file now the peak position is 2 theta in degree we need theta in our equation so angle theta is equal to peak position divided by 2 that is 2 theta divided by 2 drag them down to get all the peaks theta value also this theta is in degree unit in our equation theta is in radian so convert theta to radian drag them down to get all the theta values in radian similarly change the unit of full width half maximum to radian then coming to the calculation of crystalline size d is equal to ky by beta cos theta that is equal to 0.9 into y value that is 1.5 angstrom here we need size in nanometer so angstrom to nanometer conversion that is 0.9 into 0.15406 nanometer divided by beta value that is full width half maximum into cos theta theta in radian thus this is the crystalline size drag them down next we need to find out the average crystalline size for that average all the crystalline size obtained here is the result the crystalline size of our material is 71.535 nanometer if you think this video is useful please like and share to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching